Welcome to Probed. 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 Welcome to Probed. Welcome to Probed. I am the coffin maker. I am the coffin maker. Like, that's not even going to be coming out anytime soon. <laughs> um, Little preview. None of these people even know what we're talking about. If they're even listening. I am Dante. <laughs> it's my lovely, lovely wife over here, Kara. Hello. And I'm smoking. I'm smoking the weeds. If you are smoking the weeds with me, remember to smoke smart, safe, and legal. That's all I'll say about it for the moment. <laughs> if you're not smoking... Hang oh. out with Kara. Yeah, don't smoke. Hang out with me. Oh, that might have come up. That might that, I might have said that a little too loud. I'm a little stoned, though. Alrighty, what are we talking about today? Baddest sequels, right? Am I correct? Bad, bad sequels? <sighs> well, yeah, I just kept a generic, you know, sequels that didn't live up to, you know, where it came from. Its predecessor. Got any thoughts on that? Any initial, like, what's the first movie you can think of? The first movie I like, can Like, the think one of? that comes to mind. Um, Incredibles 2, if I'm honest with you. Incredibles 2. You know why? Because I waited for such a <coughs> long amount of time <coughs> for that movie. Was it 10 years? It was something like 10 years. So if you were 10 when it came out... You were 20 when you watched it, and that's just a whole different ballpark. Although, the Pixar short is perfect, because if you were young when you watched the first one and old when you watched the new one, then it would make so much more sense for you. Yeah. When did that... So, Incredibles came out in 2004, and Incredibles 2 came out in 2018, so 12 years? Or no, I'm sorry. That's not right, is that? 16 years i'm wrong i'm high anyways it's a it's a decent number so yeah yeah i can get that it was a it was disappointing only for the fact i didn't feel like i got you know that more adult ring that the first one gave me yeah that's true how can it be more adult um but the movie was goddamn gorgeous yeah oh man that water scene always gets me i it, always talk about that yeah it looked nice it just i don't know it wasn't exactly what i was thinking all right let's think uh well i'm gonna say jaws 2 really have you even seen jaws 2 i think so maybe once but i don't remember it i own it but I always put on Jaws 1 if I feel like putting on any of the Jaws movies. The first Jaws is so fucking perfect that to try and do something else after that that could have maybe been better wasn't going to happen, I don't think. Now, it's not a bad movie, um, but if I put on the second one and said, okay, for as quality of movie... Take a look at this. And then I put on the first one afterwards and said, all right, now take a look at this. And you go, oh, wait a minute. So that the first the first one you showed me isn't the sequel? Like, you know, it's just yeah. got... And so it just feels like a downgrade. Yeah. I Maybe I'm just that. high rambling, but... No, no, I'm, I'm with you. Well, yeah, that's mine. That's mine. Go ahead. Oh yeah, gosh, I have to come up with another one. Um, okay, this is kind yeah, of. I told like you to think about these things. Spitfire in for me. A bad movie, a bad sequel. A bad sequel. Not even bad. Doesn't and like Jaws two. Not a bad movie. Just did not live up to the <clears throat> first movie. Didn't live up to it. Oh gosh, now I have to think of what I've seen and figure it Do out. Do you want me to give one another one of mine? <coughs> yeah, I guess so. Go ahead. So the only reason I really like this movie is because of Jeff Goldblum. But, um, Lost World, Jurassic Park 2, Lost World. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know how the title goes. I think it's Lost World, Jurassic Park. Could be wrong. That one is okay. We watched it recently. 
it was that it, it was the only Jurassic Park that has like such extensive Jeff Goldblum in it. Yeah. The first one has a good amount, but not to the point that the second one does. Yeah. And it, it's okay. It's just more surprising when you see the first one. And, you know, it, they just present the dinosaurs better. Like, oh my gosh, this is... They're fucking dinosaurs. By the second movie, somehow you feel like, oh, these are just dinosaurs. Yeah. Instead, the first one's like, this fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> <clears throat> That's true. Well, you got one yet? Um, you know, I'm looking through a few right now because you know how I am. I'm not necessarily good with remembering what's connected to what. I just watch it. Just thinking of any of the Marvel movies? No, I think I'll... No, never mind. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2? Even yeah. after all the Avengers stuff, Iron Man 2? Yeah, just because he was good later on in the saga doesn't mean it automatically makes it better earlier on. I thought it did. I didn't say automatically. I just think it it honestly did make me appreciate the past movies more. Yeah. Like, now I can watch him going, oh, knowing that this is going to happen makes me kind of happier with this moment. But yeah, I was thinking, like, any of the Marvel movies that aren't aren't good. I, I get why you say Iron Man 2, because Iron Man 2 and 3 are kind of boring. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. And the time period it was. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I wouldn't have thought Iron Man 2 to be my first one. I mean, obviously the, the second Thor movie, I can't tell you a thing about it. Yeah, I don't know anything. I remember that Thor's mom dies. I don't really remember anything about any Thor movie other than the first one. Monarch. Really? Not even Ragnarok? No. Never been a big Thor fan. Wow. I loved Ragnarok. <laughs> no, no, it was a good movie. It's just I've never been a big, like, yes, Thor. Yeah. 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 I get that. It takes a certain person. I was always the Captain America guy. I am a big Captain America fan, but even that was even with comics, too, though. Yeah. Like, I just love the Captain America storylines, so. Well, do you have any other ideas yet? Yes, I keep on finding them and then forgetting them because we start talking. Wait, wait, wait. Son of the Mask, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that frightening cash grab of a movie. Oh, yeah. Son of the Mask. The first one was horrifying, but somehow... Well, the reason the first one is great is because it mixed cartoon CG with real life. It was the first actual time that that was kind of done, like, to the extent that the mask did it. And so the second one following up tried to do that. It's more scary than anything. All you have to do is look up the Son of the Mask sperm scene. Because there's a scene where there's, like, green mask guys as sperm. Yeah. And then that's why the baby has mask powers, and it's weird. It's not a great movie. Yeah, you're like, I don't know how to feel about that. It's definitely not a kid's movie, and that's how it was marketed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, that was a good one. Thank Shit, you. Shit, that was a good Thank choice. Thank you. Do you have any more? Um, wow, sequels that didn't live up. I was gonna say, no, no. I was gonna say the new Godzillas, but somehow I enjoyed the second one more than the first one. And the first one's okay. I really enjoy the first one, but I also really like Godzilla, so yeah. maybe that's just me? Yeah. Maybe that's just me. Um, man. I mean, the Resident Evil movies... It's just downhill after the second one. It's just a hard downhill. Even the third one I enjoy, and I at the same time I feel like it's a guilty pleasure. The first two are actually pretty good. I actually wouldn't mind watching those and like trying to review those again. Because they're kind of bad to the point that it's laughable. But they're also good in a way that like, what they're good at is the monster effects. Yeah. 
But I don't know. All right. Well, what would you say is the worst sequel? The worst sequel, like, of all time? Ever. Ever. I don't know if I can answer that question. I had hard enough just picking some out of the bunch. All right. Just think of sequels, then. Think of... (sighs) Think of movie sequels. There's every horror movie sequel ever. Okay, so Nightmare on Elm Street two is yeah, pretty bad movie. And just, not not bad, but it's not a good movie. They just never live up. Listen. Dream Warriors is my favorite, but I I think I've watched the second one twice in my life. The yeah. second time I watched it, going well, maybe it won't be so bad. Yeah. Um, which one? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The first time Jason and Voorhees is actually like Jason Voorhees is in the second one. See, I could never name all of that or the specifics of that because I just don't. Yeah. They're that irrelevant to me. I don't even know the names or what the plots are. The Conjuring 2. You think that one's good? I like that one more than I like the first one. Really? I do. Okay. I always enjoy that one more than the first one. Trying to think. Uh, The second, I mean, Empire, I would consider the second Star Wars, but if you actually want to do it in the order that it's given, Attack of the Clones, I would say, is probably the worst of the prequels. Yeah. Yeah. The entire first prequel is worth it because the Darth Maul Duel of Fates fight at the end. But the second one is just, it's a bore fest. It's such a bore fest. And the, the some worst acting ever is in that movie. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What, what, what do you think? A bad sequel. I I don't know. I feel like... I don't know if it's just because I'm really thinking about the sequel itself right now. I feel like most sequels are just a waste of time. A waste of time? Unless it's completing the story. Like, if there's a complete story and then they, like, redo it. If you're going to market it as a sequel, like as a part two, and it's a completely different story, I think it's a waste of time. So you're telling me The Two Towers was a waste of time? No. No. That was based off a book that's one story broken up. That's different. But a sequel that doesn't have, like, we don't know the ending, so No, like, if a movie, like, definitely concludes. Like, it's just... Yeah. And then they make another one. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It is, so, what makes it irrelevant? Is it whether you enjoy it? Like, if it's actually a good movie? Like, is it relevant then? Is it canon if it's good? Or if it's bad, is it just... Is that make it irrelevant? Now you're just confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to end this controversial probed on... Sequels? If- If you're smoking with me, smoke smart and safe and legal. And if you're sober like me and hating on sequels, welcome to the club. Wow. What a a divided probe. (laughs) I think I may divorce you. (laughs) Yikes. All right. This has been Probed. 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 Toodles.